What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to another Minecraft tutorial. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now today we're going to be building this medieval woodcutter's lodge, which is pretty simple build. It could also probably be used as a star's house. It's pretty simple to build, it doesn't require too many resources and uh, overall I think it looks pretty good. So we got a little small house with a little walkway at the front here or like a kind of little bit of a kind of porch. Uh, we've got a little shelter here where the woodcutter keeps some of his wood and stuff like that and supplies. And overall, I think it's turned out pretty nice. I like the way this has turned out. We've got a little flower pot down the side here just to make things look nice. Um, but yeah, again guys, we're building this in our little medieval village. So as you can see, we've got the medieval village behind us, everything else. So this place is really shaping up with all of the builds we've been doing. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I hope you guys enjoyed the world download from the last video as well. Um, if you haven't checked that out, then be sure to check the link in the description as well. And you can get a download of this world with all the builds. Um, but with that being said, guys, let's take a look at what we're going to need to build this. Okay, for this build, you're going to need some cobblestone slabs, stairs, blocks and walls. You're going to need some glass panes of your choice. I'm going with the light grey stained glass panes. Some dark oak logs. Some white blocks of your choice. I'm going with the bone block, but you guys could use strip birch, white concrete, white wool, any white or light block of your choice. We're also going to need some dark oak slabs, planks and stairs. Some spruce planks. Some note blocks, if you have the ones that look like crates. Otherwise, you just want to... Just a, some chests or something to fill the area with just to make it look like a workspace and we're going to be using some brick stairs blocks and slabs and then just a few flowers of your choice with some double plants and the single plant variants and with that being said guys let's get straight on with the build okay guys we're going to start from the left hand front of the porch and we're going to start by from this corner here and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 9. Okay, all in a straight row. Now behind this block, leave a three block gap and place another one. To the right, we're going to leave a three block gap and place another one. Behind this one, we're going to go one and two, leaving a three block gap between them. To the left, we're going to go one, two, three, leaving a three block gap between all of them. Then we're going to go down one and two, again leaving a three block gap. To the right, we're going to go one, leaving a three block gap. And then we're going to go to the right by three, where we should be now be on this pillar here. And behind this pillar here, we're going to leave a three block gap and place another one just there. Okay. Now, on the right hand side here, these three pillars here, we're going to raise them by another two blocks, making them three in total. So one and two on top. One and two, one and two. So from the front, you should now have something that looks like this. Now, starting from the left hand one here, we're going to go around this little square of pillars here and we're going to raise them until they are five blocks high. So there's already one there. So two, three, four and five. Two, three, four and five. And just go around this little square and raise them all to the same height. Okay, you should now have something that looks like this. Now, from this left left hand corner pillar here, we're going to go one, two, three logs behind. Now, this is entirely up to you guys, because uh, this is going to be the way the porch is. If you wanted, you could just place the pillars across like this. And the same for this one here as well. Okay, minus this one here, you'd leave that one straight, but you could make a row going down. But I quite like them facing upwards like this. It just looks a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave mine like that. On the left hand corner one, you want to place one more pillar there. And on the right hand side, one more pillar just there. Now, grab your cobblestone. And you want to start from where this first five high pillar is at the corner here. Go to the right and one block back and place one just there. Behind that block, you want to place another one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Now, to what would be to the right of the build, we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, guys, this is going to be seven in total. Then we're going to go down by another six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And then we're going to come across the front here, joining this up to the one where we started. Okay, we should now have something that looks a bit like this. Now, go ahead and grab yourself some spruce planks. And in the center of the cobblestone here, you just want to go ahead and fill this with some spruce planks or a flooring of your choice. Once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, grab your grass path or dirt block, whichever you want to be in front of your doorway, and just go ahead and fill in this section here between the cobblestone and the logs at this side, and just bring it all of the way down, all the way down, until you are one block from the pillar there. So we shouldn't, we don't want to put it here, okay? Leave that blank. You want to leave that pillar empty there and just bring it all the way down like so okay right that's looking pretty good grab your cobblestone slabs place one here and one here okay now go back to your cobblestone and we're going to go back to the left hand pillar here and we're going to start from the cobblestone on this corner and we're going to run the cobblestone all the way around until we get to this block here. So this block is going to be our doorway. So if we just go one and two there, one and two there, and then place an upside down stair just there, this is going to be our doorway. If we put three blocks on top like this, now all we want to do is go around the rest of the cobblestone wall and raise it until it is level with the top. So we want to raise it by another four blocks high, okay? Just like this, and do this all the way around. Okay, once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Now, we're going to go to the left-hand corner here, and we're going to start running some dark oak logs all the way around, joining the tops of these pillars together. And we're going to bring it all the way around the cobblestone wall edge. Bring it all the way around. And across the front. And then join up to that corner again, just like that. Now, just before we move any further, guys, we're going to go ahead and quickly just remove this top layer of cobblestone because this is actually going to be our floor level. So we've actually just gone one block too high. So let's go ahead and just break out this one little row of cobblestone around the edge. And should now have something that looks a bit like that. Now, go ahead and get your spruce planks again or the flooring of your choice and just go ahead and fill all the way around this edge with your planks. And then just fill in the center. And we should now have something that looks a bit like that. Now, before you go any further, guys, you want to go ahead and put some torches on the inside just to light up so that mobs don't spawn. And then you want to come over to the right-hand side here and break one and two for a window. Then down the left-hand side, we're going to go down to the bottom block, go one up and go one and two. And the same in this one, one and two, just like so. Now, grab your cobblestone stairs. And we're going to go one, two, one and two. And then where the window is, upside down stair. Okay. And we're going to do that all the way around in every gap. So place one, two at the bottom, two at the top, and then an upside down stair in the middle at the bottom. Where the doorway is, we're going to go one, 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 and one. And then obviously we're going to leave the door open. Here we do the same as we did the other side. So like this, and then an upside down one just there. Down the sides here, again, just repeat the same pattern, guys. Just like so. On this one here, we can actually leave this because we're going to be putting in a chimney here. So this one can be left. And then round the back, we just want to do the same thing. Okay, it's time to get the roof in. So now what we're going to do is come to the left-hand corner pillar just here. We're going to place a stair just there with one to the right-hand side, so we're overhanging by one. Place an upside-down stair behind with a normal stair on top and then an upside-down stair behind. Then we're going to go full block, stair, 
upside down stair, four block, stair, upside down stair, four block, and then just place a stair on top like that. And we should now be at the center pillar just here, okay? Now we're gonna do exactly the same on this side. So do stair and then a stair sticking out. Place an upside down stair there, normal stair on top, upside down stair there. Full block on top with a stair on top, upside down stair, full blocks on top, stair, upside down stair, full block, and then a stair on top. And then in the center, we're going to place an upside down stair with a normal stair on top and an upside down stair sticking out like so. Okay. Now back to the left hand side here, we're going to basically run some stairs down the side all the way to the end and then overhang by one and we're going to repeat the same pan on this side of the build. So we're going to go upside down stair and then a normal stair on this side here. We're going to actually break this one just here for the moment and we're going to go over to this corner here. We're going to place a stair there and then another one next to it, break this one on the corner and then we're going to replicate the same pattern here. So upside down stair, normal stair, upside down stair. Then we're going to go block and a block, stair and a stair, upside down stair, upside down stair. Full block, full block, stair, upside down stair, full block, stair on top and then upside down stair in the center normal stair on top and an upside down stair sticking out okay guys once you have that in place get come to the front right hand side of the build and on the top of this pillar here we're going to place a slab and then a slab just in front of it then we're going to go one to the left then we go up one to the left up one to the left up one then we're going to break this stair here and place a slab with a slab on top like that. So we should get a nice kind of downwards curve on this corner. We're gonna do exactly the same over here. So we're gonna break that stair just there. Then we're gonna go a slab, a slab there, place another one there and then slowly work it up one at a time. Just like so. And then we're just going to literally join these ones together. So run this all the way across, just like so. Now go ahead and get your dark oak logs. And in the center of the front here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. To the right, we're going to leave a one block gap and go one, two, three. To the left, a one block gap and three as well. Do the same at the back of the build. So in the center, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. A one block gap to each side, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, once you're done, grab your bone blocks or the white block of your choice and just go ahead and fill your gaps in. So on the sides, you just want to place one block, and then in the center gaps here, you want to go up by five. Okay, just like that. And the same in this gap here. Do exactly the same on the back. So you want to place one there, one there, and then one, two, three, four, five, and the same in this one, just like so. Now grab your dark oak planks and we're gonna start filling in the rest of the roof. So from the back here, we're gonna start with this cause this is the full block in front of me. As you can see, we've got a full block of cobblestone. We're just gonna run planks all the way across to the other side like this. Go up to the next block and place planks all the way across. And then up to this one, all the way across. Now for this one at the center here, if you want, you could replace this one and just run planks all the way across. And you can also break that one there and join them up. And then just do the same on this side as well. So just cross the, the full blocks all the way across. It just makes it a little bit easier to uh, lay everything down with the planks in place. So we're going to go and do those all first. Now, once they're done, go ahead and grab your um, your stairs. And we're going to run the stairs across 
from here all the way across to this side go up to the top of this planks here and just run it all the way across here as well up to the next one run them all the way across up to this one and run them all the way across now at the top here we're going to go one two three four one two three four and then place a full block in the center then we're going to go black back to our dark oak stairs and across the top here just run your stairs all the way across go down one run them all the way across go down one run them all the way across and then go down one and run them all the way across making sure you don't miss any gaps just like so okay before we do this little roof here we're going to go ahead and get our chimney in place so let's go ahead and grab our bricks and we're going to go down to the back right hand side of the build so if we come to the front here okay we just want to come between this little gap here where we haven't got no roof above us and we're going to start from here and we're going to go one two three in the gap there do another two rows on top of this then at the very bottom here we're going to go one two three place one in the center there and one in the center of the top grab your stairs place one here and one here one here and one here and then we're just going to place one there like that then go ahead and break that stair and the the full block just underneath here and you're going to go one block on top two block on top three block on top then face away to the side place a stair with an upside down stair and then go one two cobblestone wall and then a brick slab on top okay just like that now grab your dark oak slabs and you can literally join the tops of the slabs all the way across to the opposite side like this okay once you're done you should have something that looks a little bit like this and the roof is looking pretty nice and we've got a nice little curve across the bottom there now grab your glass panes and go ahead and fill in your windows so we're going to go ahead and fill that window in there and then this window and this window and don't forget to grab yourself a door and place that on the front of the build as well guys so let's quickly do that now place your door in place and there we go we've got everything all in place there let's come back outside now grab your cobblestone wall again and place one two three across these logs and then go ahead and fill this gap up across here with your uh, cobblestone wall as well all right guys we're just going to finish up some final details now so first of all let's get our little stairway in place so we're going to place two grass paths at the back there and we're going to put a spruce slab just in front like that to just to create a kind of a nice little kind of natural looking stairway which looks pretty nice now we're going to go ahead and get in some details down the side here so first of all where we've got our chimney here Let's place some logs coming down. This is a woodcutter's lodge after all. So we're going to bring one down about that far, which is one, two, three, four, five blocks. This one's going to be six. And then this one's going to be four, just like that. Just so it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's all the same length. It looks just a little bit more natural with a build that way. And then maybe we could do one about that long on top there then i just place a few random logs sticking upwards kind of i suppose something like this maybe one two just a little bit kind of random really nothing really properly arranged something kind of like that okay just a few logs dotted around now get yourself some item frames and just on a few of these and maybe just the odd place here and there just place a few of your item frames and go ahead and place an axe. Spin it around so it looks like it is an angle where they might have just put it down. And try not to do that. 
and then place an axe in that one as well uh, something kind of like that just makes it look a little bit like a uh, like you know like an axe has been placed down while they've stopped working for a bit now for me my brown bed actually looks like a bench so if we place that down you can see it kind of looks a bit like a bench so if you guys don't have a bench that looks like this you might want to do something else or use slabs but i'm going to use the brown bed because it looks a bit like a bench and then behind it place a couple of spruce trap doors and then if we crouch we can place an iron frame on that side and an iron frame on that side and we get a little bench which looks pretty cool i think and i really like the way that kind of looks now go ahead and get yourself some note blocks now it depends on again the texture pack guys my note blocks look like crates they're like this so if yours don't look like crates you might want to get some uh chests or i mean if you know the some of the note blocks in some texture packs do look okay so you could just dot a few of them around just to look a little bit like some kind of storage so go ahead and just randomly find a few little spaces and plop around a few of these crates around just to kind of make it look like it's being used somehow. Um, I mean, you could even do something like that. That might work. We'll place one there. One there, one there. You can even pile one on top of that for now. Um, I think that looks pretty good, really. And maybe another one there. One at the back here. And I think that will do. That looks like plenty. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now go ahead and get your, your spade or your shovel. And you can go ahead and just dig a few little bits of the ground out. Just to make it look like, you know, they would have been walked up here. Just dot it around a little bit random like this. Nothing too organized. And then you might want to just bring your path down underneath here as well. So just go ahead and replace all this with your grass path. And then what I've done, as you can see, I've got some gravel. I've just placed a few bits of gravel in. Place this randomly about, use, you know, use quite a bit of gravel because it, it does really rough the ground up and make it look like it's been worn down, uh, like it's been worked on. So we want to get quite a kind of bit of a roughed up ground. Grab yourself some cool stir as well. Go ahead and stick a little bit of that in there. And again, guys, this is just random. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. And what it does, it just makes the ground look like it's been, you know, that it's been trod on and kind of people have been walking around on it. Let's grab a little bit more gravel. I like the gravel. I think it looks pretty cool. Something kind of like that. I think that looks pretty good. I like that. And overall, guys, I think that is actually pretty good for that area. Go ahead and get yourself some leaves if you want. And what you could do is just to kind of make it look like uh, it's a little bit more natural around here. Just go ahead, place in a few little leaves to look like uh, some bushes. Even go and place in a couple down there. Just something kind of like that. It hasn't got to be perfect. Yeah, something kind of like that. I think that looks pretty good. All right, guys, that's looking pretty good. Now, what I would do, one last thing, is get yourself some cobblestone slabs and some flowers. And on the left-hand side here, we're just going to make a bit of a plant pot. So... For me, I could start from this corner here, but for you guys, if you guys are working without nothing behind the build, you probably want to keep it close up to the build. So what I would do is place a slab there and then two on this diagonal here. On this corner here, place one and then two across that little diagonal edge there. And then just run a load of slabs until you are diagonally corner to corner, giving you a nice kind of shape sort of plant pot. Then get yourself some oak leaves and... Just randomly kind of plot a few about like this. Um, there's no kind of right or wrong way to it really. Just randomly like that. Place yourself in some rose bushes. Um, put, put some long grass, uh, especially in the corners and little edges like this. I think they look really good like that. Uh, maybe one there as well. Maybe a peony here. And then just a few little odd flowers in between just to fill those gaps up. Just like that and add a little bit of colour. And I think that looks pretty good. And 
as far as the outside is go goes guys i would say that is pretty much done for the outside i think that looks pretty good you could always put a little bit of a fence down the side here if you wanted to so you could go ahead and maybe even a a actual cobblestone wall you could actually run maybe maybe break that one there and we could place in some like that put another one of those just there and then maybe even just put a little a little slab on top just to kind of section it off just to give you like a like section off a bit of workspace i think that looks pretty good and then maybe over the back here where we got the leaves you could just go ahead and throw in a few little kind of bushes um and bits like this something kind of like that and then maybe just get a little bit of grass just to kind of rough up and make the area look a little bit kind of worn down a bit like this add a little bit of grass around in just a few little spots something like that again don't go too crazy here guys there's no need to go too crazy something kind of like that and i think that that looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with the look of that i think it looks pretty nice okay well let's grab a few materials and we'll go on the inside and i'll show you what i've done with the interior okay guys for the interior i kept it pretty simple so let's place a stair right by that door when we come in so that first one there then place a stair above it and then another stair above that one like so then we're going to place an upside down stair behind all three of these just like that and then place a trap door on the normal stairs just like that okay now we're going to quickly stand on this first step break the stair above and then one and two and three just like this at the top here we're going to come up and place a slab on that one and then a slab on that bottom half there and that should be good now get yourself some dark oak planks and just run them across this little gap at the top here and the same on this side here as well okay so we should now have something that looks a bit like this upstairs and all i'm going to do is get my spruce trap doors and place some like this And then from this side here, I'm going to go one, two, and three. And then open them up. And then lastly, finally, this one here, up like that. So now we've kind of just sectioned that whole corner to the stairway, which kind of fits in pretty nice. Okay, guys, now that our stairway is all in place, we can work on what we're going to do with the rooms. So what I've done is I placed a dark oak log going all the way to the ceiling here to kind of just section off this bit of the room. Now, go ahead and get your stripped spruce wood. Place one here and one here, leaving a gap in the middle. And in fact, we're going to actually place it so that it works out sideways like that. Okay, so the grain runs sideways. I just think it looks a bit nicer. Then we're going to place three across the top like that. Place item frames on them ones. This one here, we're actually going to break that, guys, because there's something else I'm going to actually do there. Place an item frame here and then two white blocks of your choice in that gap there i'm going to use the bone block but you guys could use any white block of your choice and then place a door on the front i'm going to use the acacia wood door because i think it looks pretty good like a fridge door okay um i don't know if we get to open the other way can we no it's gonna open that way but it doesn't matter that's fine now grab yourself some um some black carpet and you also want to get yourself a cooker, uh, not cooker, a furnace. Okay, place your furnace in the center just there. And then the black carpet, we're going to place one in each of the item frames like this. And then we're going to twist them so they look like door handles. Okay, so these two can face each other. And then this one can go to that side. Something kind of like this. And then finally for the kitchen here, we're going to get ourselves a detector rail. And we're going to get ourselves some paintings. So let's get the painting. And we're going to place a painting just there. Actually, what we we'll do is we'll place a full block there for a second. And there we go. We've got the little spatulas and that which we wanted. And then on the top, just place your detector rail. And it kind of looks a little bit like a hob. 
And I think that looks pretty good for the kitchen. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is place a couple of stairs around the side here to make a little bit of a chair. Place a couple of fences in front with some pressure plates on top just to create like a little bit of a table. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a stair there, a stair there for the minute. Let's place a single picture if we can get a decent item. Uh, yep, that'll do, the little plate. And then can we do the same up there? It's going to be two. And break that stair there. And I think that looks pretty good, guys. I'm actually pretty happy with the way that looks. So now we're just going to go upstairs. And upstairs, again, is pretty simple. So let me just grab a few materials for this one, guys. Okay, upstairs was pretty simple. We put a bed in the corner, so let's put a couple of white wall like that with two beds in front. And then at the end here, we're going to put a couple of oak trap doors like so to create a nice little double bed. Down the side here, we're going to place four of these uh, bookshelves. And we're going to put a trap door in front of it just like so. I think we're going to go something like an... Item frame there and item frame there. Let's break that torch for the moment. We'll place a picture in the center. Okay, and then we're going to place a sword inside this frame upside down, if I can get it like that. Same on this one here. Just like so. And then we're going to go one, two, and three. And then just join those to the other side just to make some little beams. Just like that. Can place a glowstone actually we're not going to do that let's get the stairs place the stairs all the way along the top of that side of the roof do the same over this side sorry if it's a little bit dark guys i hope you guys can see okay then i'm gonna just quickly place in Oops, some glowstone up there so you can see it's just in the center of the roof okay and one in that gap there and then what we're going to do is place a actually we want to place at the very top you just want to place a full block and then the glowstone full block glowstone okay do that in all of the roof here so break that out again full block glowstone Full block glowstone. And then just place a stair over this side and a stair over this side. Stair that side and a stair on that side. Do this in all of the gaps. Just like so. And then go ahead and place your trap door, your oak trap door or any trap door that you want on top and that kind of hides the light in that way and it keeps it nice and bright up here go ahead and place yourself a picture in the center just like so i think that looks pretty good actually the way that's that that came out and i think that just about does it for up here guys i don't think we need to really do anything else i think that looks pretty cool go ahead and break that torch there you don't need no lighting up here now that is enough and I think that will pretty much do it for up here. If you really wanted, you could just go ahead and place an iron frame at each side here and get yourself some torches because this one corner here is a little bit dark underneath. And it kind of just makes it look a little bit nicer. I think that kind of, I don't know, just like a little section there that looks pretty good. All right, guys, well, that just about does it for today's video. Now, guys, don't forget, we do still have quite a few builds coming. I do have a sawmill coming soon and a brewery. Plus, we still got the witch tower and the Viking house, plus the castle that I'm working on. So there's going to be a lot of tutorials coming on the way. So stay tuned for those. If you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.